my fourth new technology is Dropbox. It's not very new, but um, it is so useful. Why? It's easy to use. You can free up your space because it's stored in a cloud. Um, you can store items on their server for you to use later. Um, and I love it for sharing and collaborating with my coworkers. Um, if I find something, I can store it in there and then they can get it whenever they want it. Um, the goal will be to store works for later use or for sharing um, work in other modes. So if your students do a project, um, make a little book, you can store it in Dropbox and then um, they can make a QR code and get it out later or put it in another, another place. The audience would be students, teachers, administrators. Um, administrators could also share things um, through there. In fact, my we share um, lesson plans for the teachers and administrators in our building through Dropbox. The standards would be to collaborate with students, peers, parents, community members using digital tools and resources to support student success and innovation. Also to exhibit leadership by demonstrating a vision of technology infusion, participating and sharing in decision making community building and developing the leadership and technology skills of others. So this is Dropbox. You have to be kind of careful when you're finding it because this is the official site. They've got several other weird things you can find. You'll have to set up an account and once you set up an account um, it, you will come to this page. Now I've had this for a year or two so I have a lot of folders already. Um, this is a folder that we made just for the second grade teachers. You can open up this folder and in there, these are the people that it's shared with. Um, and then these are all the other folders that we have shared with each other. This is some interactive notebooks. Um, these are my lesson plans. Um, in our reading folder we have so much stuff. We've got each unit that we do and then we have um, the books for each unit that we've done, and then some Teachers Pay Teachers um, activities. Now, to be able to use this for yourself, so I have something I want to share with my um, friends. So I look, I find it on my desktop. I need to go to Save As. Oops, sorry. Okay, right now it's on the desktop, so I need to find my folder for, nope, not into my applications, or Dropbox, because I can't quite find it on my computer. So there it is, I click on it, then I click Save. There's all my folders, so then I can click save, and it should be saving it to the Dropbox. You'll have to put it in a folder when you get it in there to figure out where you want to put it. So, down here at the bottom, you can see that it's uploading it right there. You can do this with any thing that you make. You can put movies in there if they're short enough. Um, your camera can be uploaded into there. It shares all your um, photos. Then you can share links later. Um, in basketball, I had a, a handbook. So then I wanted to share that with my teammate, uh, the te kids on the team. So I highlighted that. And then in my next video on making QR codes, I had that handbook and then I shared it with um, the kids and the parents. That is Dropbox.